Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm going to be doing the re-review over the Jack Daniels Old Number 7, an updated review in which I had conducted this one over uh, three years ago, and I've acquired a new bottle, so I thought it was just time just to go ahead and do this. First of all, let me see if I can get this thing open. Go ahead and crack the seal on this. All right. So this is uh, the 70, uh, the 700 milliliter bottle, 40% uh, ABV or 80 proof. And it is distilled at the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It says mellowed for smoothness, drop by drop through sugar maple charcoal matured for character in our own handcrafted barrels tasted for flavor by masters until deemed ready and awarded for quality and distinction seven gold medals since 1904 all right so let's go ahead and give this a shot it's been a while since i had this actually it's been about three years actually since the last time I did that last review, so I don't know if much is going to change, but we'll see. I'm not sure if that was a big enough pour, but okay. Should be good enough. <sighs> Blow these fumes. Mmm. <sighs> yeah. You can definitely smell that sugar maple wood on the nose that oak definitely has a heavy smell to it but I'm sure if I had let this sit maybe about a good three or four minutes uh, this smell would be more subdued than what it is now just from having a fresh pour but yeah Mm. Now I know it's like comparing apples and oranges to compare this with a uh, Kentucky bourbon such as the Maker's Mark, but the Maker's Mark and the Maker's Mark 46 are both very sweet bourbons and this one is very sweet as well but in its own different unique way. Definitely you get the maple and that, that vanilla taste inside of here. Very, very sugary. Now it's starting to come through on the nose a little bit more. The uh, that, that vanilla smell. Let's have one more sip of this. It's a very sweet and crisp taste on the palate, like like uh, sugar grains, almost. And then it's like uh, when you swallow and have the finish, then a new a new type of taste starts to come up that's a little bit different from the one that you experience on the palate. This one is uh, actually a lot more complex than what I thought it would be. Complex in the sense that it's difficult for me to find the wording to explain exactly about uh, what I think about it. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and try this again. I have a little bit of notes here that I took down, but just uh, has nothing that I really want to say on camera. It almost has like an ice cream slash uh, milkshake frozen dessert type type of taste to it. 
And uh, that's something that I can truly appreciate. Now, I really do like this one, and this is the first whiskey that I've ever fallen in love with, and probably the first whiskey that I've ever drank in my entire adult life. Uh, but differences between this and as the best-selling American whiskey and something like the best-selling Scotch whiskey, such as the, um, what is it that I'm thinking of, the, uh, the Johnny Walker Red Label. These are both drinks that... Uh, you find as mixer drinks or something that you might have with a uh, whiskey with it with a cola but the only difference is I find that you can drink this one neat or straight and uh, you're going to be able to enjoy it just as it is uh, without having to mix it with anything whereas I feel like it's n it's necessary that you have to mix the Johnny Walker red label with something in order to get some type of taste out of it because if you were to drink that just 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 straight oh that's going to be absolutely terrible but this is this is actually quite good it's quite good and uh it's good bargain for the money is what i want to say let's let's try this one more time as you can see i have my glass here with my ice cubes inside of it I don't have a jigger, but I'm just going to go ahead and just give give myself a healthy little pour there. All right, that should be a good helping of cola. Go ahead, give this just a few stirs, not too much. And here we go. Look at how refreshing that that looks. Pretty much tastes like a vanilla Coke almost. Very refreshing. Now there is a quick story that I would like to share with you guys from the Jack Daniels website taken directly from this. And uh, I quote, in 1907, Dr. Lyman Kelber of the Borough of Chemistry and Soils was dispatched to the southern United States. It was here that he found that a proprietor of a soda fountain located near a military base that was serving cola to soldiers who then mixed it with, with Jack. Dr. Kelber's report on this exceptional use of soda was the first documented mention of Jack and Cola. Don't hold your breath waiting for the last. So, there goes the story of when this was first mixed with Cola in the year 1907. Very refreshing. It enhances the Coke and... Dare I say it, the jack might even be enhanced in its own special different way. I mean, you can enjoy it both ways, but, oh man, is this the, is this the premium way to have this? All in all, it's a very delicious drink, no matter which way you decide you want to have it. Wow. Wow. Not not much more to say about this, but uh, just for historical reference, I'm going to go ahead and leave my original review tacked on to the end of this video so that you guys can take a look at that and see what I thought about this back then. But gentlemen, I thank you all for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, make sure that you drink responsibly. And uh, you can look at the old video if you decide to, or you can click off now from this video. I'm going to be happy either way. Thank you guys for watching. The finish is nice and sharp but still goes down easy enough. 
on the tongue is sweet and the aftertaste is probably the best thing about it on the tongue very light a little bit oaky very sweet like vanilla well this is not the very best tasting American whiskey out on the market this is however the very best selling one the best selling American whiskey and or bourbon just whiskey in general and this one is uh, distributed all over the world uh, rightfully so it's not very bad but again like I said not the best either but still uh, very pleasant for me and I enjoy it very much in fact I would say that this is my favorite American whiskey but Jack Daniels has some other things that are a little bit better than this the whiskey that I was trying to mention earlier that I forgot the name of Gentleman Jack so be on the lookout in future reviews for a review of Gentleman Jack and the uh, single barrel alright that has been my review over the old number seven I thank you gentlemen for watching make sure that you drink responsibly salute to you wherever you may be and I'll see you in the next one make sure to keep it classy mm -hmm.